Houston never seemed to get comfortable in this national championship game, and the result is a crushing loss to Michigan. The defense, as you saw, was gashed early by the Michigan run game, but they made adjustments in the second half and really kept UW in this game. But the offense looked out of sync all game long, which was kind of surprising. Michael Penix Jr. didn't miss a single throw last week against Texas, but an overthrow, a costly penalty, and a drop really doomed this offense late. Penix, head coach Kalen DeBoer, and Eddie Ulafosio reflecting on the emotions post game. Wasn't what we were expecting. Um, we came, and I, I know our mentality and mindset was to come in and, and win the football game. But um, you know, sometimes things don't always go the way that uh, that you want. And um, you know, I'm proud of uh, what these guys have done this year and over the last two years. And um, we got a lot, got a lot, uh, got a lot of great things happening within uh, you know our program, and um, we've got a lot, lot to build off of. It sucks, you know. I mean, we played a good team. You know, they. I did some good things, you know. I feel like on the offensive side of the ball, we we just missed a lot of opportunities, you know, uh, opportunities, you know, where we needed to ex execute the most to, you know, help our team, you know, put our team in a better position to to come out with this win, you know. But in the locker room, man, it's just a lot of love. You know, at games like this, we can't make you know explosive mistakes like that, you know, and it you know ultimately costed us. Well, the Huskies were hurt both emotionally and physically. I watched Penix leave the sideline and walk to the locker room. He had a towel draped over his face. He was clutching his stomach as well. He was asked post game how he was feeling. He said hurt, but better than he was three years ago. The good news for UW fans, both Penix and UW leave each other better than they were found. Let's head over to Jake Wittenberg now, who has more post game reaction tonight. Jake. Yeah, Jake, a lot of tears, a lot of emotion for these Husky fans. This is not the color confetti that they were hoping for after this hard-fought game. The players that we spoke with earlier in the week said they have been so excited for this week, and the fans doubly so, so excited for this evening. A, a 30 plus year run without a national championship appearance and tonight they say they're still so proud of their team making it this far saying 14 and one is still one heck of an accomplishment. Honestly, I wish it wasn't as bad as it was. I wish the score was a little closer. By the last quarter, I was hoping we could close it in a little bit more than we did. If we ever go to the Natty, we're going. And so we went all in, we made it a great trip, great experience, had a lot of fun. It's a blast. The energy, everything, it's been so amazing, uh, even though we lost. Second place of all of college football. You need to think of it that way. You need to think of it that way. Yeah, everyone's still so proud of the Huskies, so proud of their team. A lot of optimism about the way the season turned out, despite the way this game finished here tonight. 15 seniors on this team, too. A lot of fans were emotional about that, knowing next year could look a lot different. The long trek home starts tonight. A lot of canceled, a lot of delayed flights as well that fans are facing. They're going to have to navigate that over the next 24 hours, too. Send it back to you for now. Yeah, no kidding. Get some sleep, Jake. And I think that kid was right. You got to look at it like that, right? Number two in the country right. is a huge accomplishment. Second best. You know, here at home, a large crowd of dog fans gathered to cheer on the Huskies in this big, big game tonight. Sebastian Robertson joining us from where the Huskies watch party happened in Seattle. It looks empty right now, Sebastian, but tell us, you know, how did, how did things wind up there? You, you hear that? It is uh, just dead quiet here. Totally different experience in the first half of that game. The official watch party is over. The game is over. The Huskies' perfect season is now blemished. Heck, Ed Arena was the place to be for the few hours of the game. For the official UW watch party, 7,200 tickets were set aside. Those were claimed in just a couple of hours on the website. There was no charge to the event. 600 of those were reserved for current students. The roar of the crowd unfortunately lost energy as it was clear that the Huskies would not catch up to Michigan in the second half this Husky season is over. I'm, I'm distraught. I'm, I'm gutted. Go dogs. We're still proud of you guys. Thank you. We're still awesome in academics. It'd be nice for the recruiting, especially we're going to be, a, we're going to be a national footprint moving forward. So for a little bit of uh, perspective, the last time the Huskies won a national title, it was 1991. Current freshmen, most of them were not born at that time. And that was kind of what was cool about tonight is seeing parents and students hoping for that win. It did not happen the night though, and the season still historic for the Huskies.
Now, there uh, were some Michigan fans, none of them here. They were all on the other side of town. That's where we find King 5's Cornelius Hawker with uh, how the other side of the story took in the night. Yeah, well, it's empty here, but Michigan fans had to get home. It's still a school night. They have to work. But I talked to so many of them, and, you know, despite being in Seattle, they were so happy, so excited. They told me that it was about time. This was a, a fairy tale season. They're now 15-0, and 0, won their first championship since 1997. Now, the crowd here, they were on their feet for most of the game whenever those big plays were happening. Hundreds of people inside and out at Old Stove Brewing. And despite winning, the Michigan fans recognize UW had a fantastic season, something they can respect. Hey, first of all, it's great to be a Michigan Wolverine, number one. Number two, the Huskies played a fantastic game. We got to appreciate this crowd here in Seattle. We got to appreciate the Huskies. They did a fantastic job. But the number one reality is that we won. Michigan are national champions, and we've got to recognize that around the country. And Steve and Jessica, so many people have been saying that you have to put things into perspective. Being number two in the country is not that bad. And our UW boys have nothing to be ashamed of because they had such a great season. And they're going to have great careers in the NFL, a lot of them. All right, Cornelius Hawker reporting live for us in Seattle. And congrats to all those Michigan fans. Thanks, Cornelius.